In this brief video, I'll show you the quickest way I have found to establish the real-world coordinates of an existing Revit file using Revit so that I can get the best results when using it in ArcGIS Pro. When working with coordinates here in Revit, I find it's easiest to work in any plan view of the model, either the side or the floor plan. To best understand how the coordinates of my existing model have been established, or to set them, I will want the symbols for the Revit project base point and perhaps the survey point to be visible using the visibility graphics command. I invoke the visibility graphics command by typing in the shortcut VG, which brings up the dialog box where I can set what is visible in this view. By default, the project base point and the survey point symbols are not visible. To make them visible, I look in the site category and turn them on by checking the visibility next to each box. I then may need to zoom out to make them visible. In my example, the points are near my model and coincident, and unmoved from their original default position of 000. Because I'm working on this single model that is not part of any BIM coordination workflow, I'm at liberty to change the coordinates of this model as I please. You, of course, would want to work with your BIM manager to establish coordinates for your ongoing or future projects that might use these principles I'm using here as a guide to come up with what works for your situation, with all stakeholders in mind. With that disclaimer, to actually do the work, I'm going to need to know the real-world coordinates of any point in my Revit model. I also need to have a record of the coordinate system definition I'm using, such as a specific UTM zone or state plane definition that matches the model units of this Revit file. There are numerous ways in Revit to modify the project point and survey point's coordinates and the position in the model. I can move and edit them in combination by clipping and unclipping the edit modes of the different points to accomplish the results. All the different options for moving and repositioning the points are beyond the scope of this video and are not necessary for me to perform my task. I have found the minimum effort necessary to georeference the model for purposes of reading the data in ArcGIS Pro is to simply use Revit's specify coordinate point command with the survey point unclipped. Before I continue, I need to know what should be the coordinates of this Revit model. As a GIS guy with ArcGIS Pro, I'm going to grab the coordinates of the corner of my building using ArcGIS Pro in a scene whose coordinate system has been established in California State Plain. Now when I right click in ArcGIS Pro and extract the coordinates, the coordinate values that I get will be in that California State Plain. I have some high accuracy imagery from a recent drone flight of the site, as well as a survey control point at the corner of the building as a point feature. I can use ArcGIS Pro to extract the coordinate values of this point. I put them in a notepad file to reference back in Revit. I also know my building is already facing directly north. Now with this knowledge, I can actually do the work. I select the specify coordinate at point command then define the coordinate and the model's angle to true north. This is any point in the model for which I know the northing, easting, elevation, and rotation to north. The survey point or the project base point are as good as any point for me to enter those values, but any known point such as the property corner or the building corner will suffice. In my model, I'm going to select the corner of the building, and the position of the base point and the survey point will remain unchanged relative to the model. But like all the coordinates in the model, they will be updated to reflect the real-world coordinates based on the coordinates I enter for the corner of my building. Because I unclip the survey point before executing the specify coordinate point command, the survey point assumes the coordinates of its position relative to the shared project coordinate values I just entered. We have, in a sense, moved the world underneath the model, and now 000 has become its true position on the globe, and I can now save my Revit model. The last step I need to perform is to get my hands on the Esri coordinate system reference file for California state planks and US feet, and make a copy of that PRJ file and name it the same name as my Revit file, but leaving the PRJ extension. I work for Esri, so it's relatively easy for me to find a PRJ file in the coordinate system libraries that download with many of the software products from Esri. If you don't have access to these PRJ files, you may want to try asking around or creating your own downloading it from one of the online sources like spatialreference.org. I now need to ensure that the PRJ file travels with this Revit model so that it is in the same directory when ArcGIS Pro reads it. Alternately, I could have used the file name esri underscore cad.prj, and that way any other CAD or Revit model in this directory will use that PRJ instead of having to create a separately named PRJ for each Revit model.
Now with my Revit coordinates updated and a valid PRJ file in the same directory as my Revit file, when I open this Revit file, it is located properly in my scene. What happens if you don't have the PRJ file? Here I'll open the same Revit model with the correct coordinates but without the companion PRJ file. The units of my Revit model are going to be assumed to be the same as the coordinate system, which in this case is lat long. As you can see, this is not a good idea. Using the Define Projection tool and specifying the correct coordinate system saves the properly named PRJ file and redraws my Revit model without a need for further adjustment. So, now whenever I open this Revit model in ArcGIS Pro, it first reads the companion PRJ file found in the same directory and then reads the information from the project base point inside the Revit file to get the proper offset and angle and properly position my Revit model in ArcGIS Pro.